On July 21, 2019, the first Pasadena State Bank in Pasadena, Texas, was demolished. In the less than 10 seconds it took the 12-story Frank Lloyd Wright-inspired building to crumble, Pasadena lost its most significant architectural masterpiece. But why would a city ever tear down its tallest building? The 1960s was a high time in Pasadena. The city, established in 1928 along the Houston Ship Channel, was riding a decades-long industrial boom that had drawn thousands of people to reliable, well-paying jobs in petrochemical plants. This boom had started during the World Wars and continued as post-World War II America became increasingly suburban and the automobile emerged as the most common form of transit. Pasadena State Bank was built in 1963 and played a pivotal role both in terms of cityscape and the town's social dynamic. It was a local bank whose board members held prominent positions across the community, including doctors and managers of retail stores. It became a hub for Pasadena's movers and shakers, and its distinct architecture, designed by McKee and Camrith but heavily influenced by Frank Lloyd Wright, made it a one-of-a-kind in this entire part of the Houston Metroplex. Although it was the tallest building in Pasadena by far, it wasn't located in the town's traditional downtown, but rather in a newly developing car-centric commercial district. Here it would eventually be bounded by the Pasadena Town Square Mall, and around it were some of the area's newest and greatest retail outlets. Combined with a handful of nearby buildings, this was the closest thing Pasadena ever had to a skyline. In a way, the recentering of the city on the intersection of Pasadena Boulevard and Southmore Avenue pulled the center of attention away from the original downtown along the channel. As Pasadena grew again in the 2000s, newer shopping centers on the periphery would lure traffic away from the mall here. Yet another shift in a string of an ever-moving, if existent at all, town center. In the early 1980s, just after Urban Cowboy had characterized life in the blue-collar suburb, Oil prices crashed, and the entire region felt a blow, especially oil-focused Pasadena. The city would never be the same after this. High-paying jobs and refineries dwindled, and tied up in the savings and loan crisis, the bank was sold several times. The building was finally foreclosed upon in 1990, but maintained at least one tenant until 2002. It has been abandoned ever since. Shortly after, a new owner proposed revitalizing it but the Great Recession and Hurricane Ike removed any hope of this. By the time the Pasadena Economic Development Corporation took it over, the nearly two decades of deferred maintenance had taken quite a toll on the building. Windows were broken, walls of brick crumbled off, and holes had formed in the roof. By the time it was demolished, the building was of almost no monetary value. But even in its final days, the bank tower was a masterpiece. It was one of Texas' most iconic prairie-style buildings, a style popularized by Frank Lloyd Wright and distinctive among the predictable suburban architecture of Pasadena. Strong masonry planes were intersected by carefully articulated windows and even stained glass accents. The tower had been a testament to the spirit and hope of 1960s Pasadena, the prospect of a rough-and-tumble Texas industrial town playing on the world stage a futuristic building for a futuristic society, a future that would turn out not quite as expected. 